Hello, hello, hello. Uh, Daniel Crawford, your real estate reboot coach here once again. And I have a quick follow up to the uh, presentation that you should have viewed uh, yesterday or sometime in the last uh, seven days. The what's the purpose of my real estate life? So there we, we talked about some pretty big big questions. So as a follow-up to that, I have here uh, some tools, uh, some strategies, some questions you can ask yourself to really drill down and, and focus on that, that why. So once we once we we've sort of talked about the big philosophical questions, here we're gonna, gonna go over some some more tactical stuff to get into your why. And then uh, we will jump into in our next presentation of uh, the actual tactics, you know, the, the social media stuff that, that, that you've all been waiting for. But first, today we are going to talk about the power of purpose, how to know, understand, and focus on your why. And as uh, Frederick Nietzsche once said, he who has a why to live can bear almost any how. That is one of my favorites, okay? So, where's my why? That's the, the good question. So, do you feel centered? How much of your time is spent doing things that make you feel good? Not just things that you go, go through the motions on. How much, of, how much of your day, how much time do you spend really doing stuff that you enjoy? Are you surrounded by people that inspire, empower, and encourage you? And if not, what's holding you back? Hmm? So those are, those are four, four pretty big questions, right? So here we have uh, some questions, I believe, that, that go very well with the, the questions from the What's my real estate? What's the purpose of my real estate life uh, session? But these are, are designed to help you drill down a little bit more, okay? A sense of purpose can help keep us motivated and optimistic when we face adversity, which we do in life, but especially in real estate life. <laughs> but sometimes actually identifying your why can be difficult. There are a few practical mental exercises you can do to help you identify your why. And I've listed a few here. Know your values and beliefs. Understanding, you know, what, what do you stand for? What do you believe in? Know it, focus on it, write it down in your real estate journal. Review it, know it, okay? Uh, gain self-awareness through reflection. Learn more about yourself through journaling and discovering your best self. Uh, one of the, the things that, that I've heard many, many people say uh, when they look back on their lives, uh, they value having a journal. And the reason they value that is because the the ability to look back and sort of see how you process things, whether you're looking back a week ago, a year ago, or 10 years ago, being able to, to go back to that journal and really understand how you, how you felt about something, how you articulated those feelings can really help you gain much more uh, self-awareness of, of what you're feeling, how you're feeling, and how you articulate those feelings. Okay. Next, we have how, how engaged are you? How engaged are you in work? How engaged are you with family or friends, uh, in your health, hobbies, active in your community? What, what are you engaged in? What, what is, what's important to you? And when, when I say what's important to you, I don't mean what's important to you. What, what do you say is important to you? I mean, what do your actions say is important to you? Because that's, that's what's important to you. That's, that's the why. 
What are, what are you engaged in? How engaged are you at work, in your community, if you kids, spouse, your health? How engaged are you in those things? Really, really think about that. You know, and that will do a lot in telling you, you know, what, what's keeping you motivated? What's, what's your why? You know, another thing uh, that can help you here is to make self-care a priority. Remember to take care of yourself before you can take care of others. That uh, will help you to, to sort of address those, the three previous points there. You know, one of the best examples of that is, you know, uh, when you fly and the, the stewardess is sort of going over all the things to do in case of an emergency, they say when the, the mask, the oxygen mask drop down, put your oxygen mask on first, then help those that are with you. I think that's a very good example of making self-care a priority. You can't help anyone if you need help. So you can't see how engaged you are in anything if, if you need help. So making self-care a priority is, is, is very much uh, an important thing. And one of the, the, the most important, uh, which is why I listed it last, one of the most important things here is to understand that this, this is an ongoing process. That is why you have your real estate journal. You know, most of these answers aren't answers that you're going to, to come to overnight. Many of them may change as, as your life changes. So understand that you, know, you, are, you, you should really you know, continuously reflect and reframe uh, these things as your your life changes. You know, be aware of what's going on. You know, adapt and adjust. Uh, so you have to to be be, be present. Really pay attention. Okay, and and I have other tips and tricks, and there's always more information and, and great discussions going on in the Real Estate Reboot private Facebook group. So again, you know, these presentations are are designed to to sort of help you help you get in get in the rhythm, and then you know. From here, you can go to the, the Real Estate Reboot Facebook group to, to really engage and we can, we can talk through it, okay? So, uh, like I said, you know, this, this is a relatively short one today, uh, but you have to understand, it's a process. You have to trust the process. Hold the vision and trust the process. Hold that vision, understand what the, the life you want, the life you're working for, keep that vision and trust the process. All right. I am Nathaniel Crawford, your real estate reboot coach, and I will see you on the other side.